Good morning, friends. Namaste, Dusto. Welcome to the poor. This is currently our balcony view. Not necessarily a lot to get excited about, but we are looking at trees. <laughs> and it's lovely to be here. We had a, a really smooth drive from Amnabad yesterday. Um, great driver. Great driver. Yeah. Really easy trip, actually. It was lovely. But our landing was a little bumpy. Uh, we <laughs> arrived to the Airbnb apartment that I'd booked, which we were meant to be taking for a month, yeah. only to discover that, um, well, let's just say disappointing is one way you could describe it. And um, we made the decision after kind of scraping dirt off our feet and our fingers and out of the wardrobe and considering the threadbare linen um, and very hard mattresses. It just wasn't doable for a month we at all. And if we'd stayed, I think we'd have to go to the shop and get cleaners. First thing we'd be doing this morning would be cleaning. Cleaning the place. Um, that's not what we booked. Nope. It didn't look like the pictures on Airbnb. Gosh, has that ever happened before? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we found a, a hotel just around the corner where we're staying in, which is a nice big space. Uh, it, um, excuse the mess, but it's very affordable at the moment because uh, Udapur is moving towards its spring into its, its summer. Spring. It's so, spring, yeah. so the hotel's pretty quiet. Yeah. This is our view from the balcony, which is nice to be able to look out on the trees. And we're staying in a suburb, uh, which is it's near the Fatusaga Lake. 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 Mm. So mm. a fairly up market suburb. It's a very leafy market um, area, actually. Yeah. It's nice, nice cafes and uh, little restaurants around. So we're off for our first day's adventures in Udapur. Thanks for joining us for the ride. Let's see what happens. We want to show you where we've just come for our first breakfast. It's a place we've been a number of times because, well, the view's amazing. And it's a wonderful cafe it called is. Jill's Ginger Coffee Bar. Yeah, fairly well known in the tourist route, but it's still a good place to come to. And it's in the old city. Yeah, that, that building there, that was, Havali. That's where we stayed when we were here last time. It is. You can see way in the distance on top of that mountain the summer palace. No, not the summer monsoon. palace. Monsoon palace. Mm. And this is the beautiful view <laughs> over Lake Pacholi. Pachola. 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 Me and my words. Lake Pacholi. There's the Taj. What's now the Taj Hotel, which was once the harem of. Uh, the Maharaja. You can stay there for a thousand dollars. Yeah, only a thousand dollars a night. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, just looking out across the beautiful lake and the rooftop restaurants that go all the way along this lake. It is a very, very special place, Udapur. And although, you know, in all of India, there's always noise wherever you are, but there's a certain calm, peaceful restfulness here, isn't there? Oh, there is. It's beautiful. There's no wind. Mm. Yet this morning it's just calm and sunny. Yeah. Quite bright actually this morning. So sunglasses necessary, but it's so, gorgeous. It's lovely to be here finally. It is. We we're feeling good about being here. Yeah. Just walking through the old city, uh, heading to Jagdish Temple. Just an opportunity for us to give thanks for the journey that's brought us here. And the old city streets, I mean, it's tourism that keeps it operating, but they are very, very pretty. And uh, yeah, lovely atmosphere. It's quite quiet at the moment as well, which is also very nice. Hello. 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 20. 20? 200. 200. Oh, no, no, not 200. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's too expensive. 100. 100. Even that's expensive. You 50, 50, 50 for dog. One, two. There we are. <laughs> A little bit of bargaining there. These are the 31 marble steps that have to be walked to the tallest, this is the largest temple in Udapur, um, built in 1651, completed in 1651. It's three levels high, 70, 79 feet high I believe. This is uh, 
a beautiful temple, thank you. Originally Lord Jagnath. Jagnath's my given Indian name, so I feel special coming here. Jagannath. Lord Vishnu. Yes, Lord Vishnu. Every day. Every day. A festival inside every day. is made out of solid black marble. It's a beautiful atmosphere in this temple. Isn't it feel amazing? Just celebration. <laughs> it just makes you want to smile being here, doesn't it? Yeah, it really does. My happy places. <laughs> and happiness it's you can't help but be infected <laughs> your steps walking down are just worn so smooth by devotees and worshippers this is a healing healing marble the healing marble in this marble if somebody have problem in the body seven times they will come if somebody have problem behind here people there like stomach problem oh, hand problem before it was flat look how worn it is yeah the full rub is healing. coming like this why people the rub here because here the both foot of the vishnu okay when maharana built this temple the statue was not from udaipur they bring from jagannath puri when they bring the statue first they will put here after they bring inside so this is namaste holy marble nobody can see here Another marble can sit there, but in this marble, nobody can sit. Ah, no one sit there. Even you are very lucky to see the clean now. It's so clean. Yes, in 15 days before, here is all bamboo. Oh. We take out eight months to clean this. So we are very lucky. Yeah. <laughs> now you see the clean also and everything. Oh, no. Thank I'm you. I'm not glad. In my house, oh. it's your house. We are the family from the British family. You are very kind. Your family you. always been? Yeah. yeah. Many generations? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, we will come back and visit. Yeah. We are blessed. <laughs> We're blessed. Yeah. <laughs> these are the moments that you just you don't know what's going to happen when you walk into these places because of the love, and the people happiness. People are so joyful and generous. Yeah. And loving. Because it's real. It's not solemn. It's it's, no, it's, it's happy. Happy. It's always happy. Happy. Yeah. Yeah. It's nothing solemn or scared or fearful. Yeah. It's always happy. 
So, as our friend, who I've already forgotten his name, was, well, he lives right next door to the temple, but he's telling us the marble has just finished completely being cleaned. It's yeah. only recently been opened back up to the public in this way. And he lives right next door, I heard him say Yeah, that. yeah, and many so generations. Many generations they've lived there. That's, that's what you have here, is this, mm. this beautiful sense of continuity. And, and it's, even though we're right in the heart of tourist Udaipur, yeah. there's a sacredness that is still humming with yeah. life there. Yeah. My heart was so happy just hearing ah, the chanting. The chanting. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is why we've come to India to answer one of those questions. Why are we here? This is one of the reasons. And we came here to this temple to give our thanks yeah. today for the for the extraordinary support we've had to to bring us to this chapter in our life. Oh, it feels so good. The blessings from the Brahman. Jagnath or Vishnu is the black marble god in the center of the temple that is being celebrated at the moment and then around the outside we've got Surya, Surya, which I the name right, which is the sun god which is particularly personal to me, which Udapur and the royal family celebrate to this day. And then we have Ganesha, Shiva, and what did I say was in the end? Shiva and Shakti. Shiva and Shakti. Vishnu, Surya, Ganesha. There we are. Someone else knew better than me. <laughs> I heard you say it before. I think we'll be back. <laughs> this gives you a sense of the height of the temple. And all these little lanes originally ran from the city walls to the center of the Jagnath or Jag Jagdeep temple. Truly the sacred center of Udapur. Here we are walking across one of the famous bridges which make Udapur the Venice of India. And uh, when you look across there and see that bridge, you can see a little bit why. In the evening when the sun sets, this is such a special spot too. It really is. All right, we have hired our we first. We have wheels. So we have wheels, indeed. <laughs> it's not quite the Royal Enfield I wanted, but it's a little Honda scooter. It'll do the job around the city. These tiny little streets that are here. We've been ticky touring around our little area where we're staying uh, near Petisaga Lake. It's actually a really delightful suburb. But we thought we'd come to Paddy Saga Lake this evening. See the observatory sitting there in the middle of the lake? It's really nice. It's really pretty. I think this is as far as we can go before we have to walk, so let's park up at It's great to see that people are out swimming in the lake. I know I've been hoping to have something that I can go to. It's very beautiful. It's a breeze. It's yeah. warm and this is the cutest thing ever. Something that's just been announced recently is that the uh, candy cotton that this man is selling that gets sold all over India. Uh, it's about to be banned. What is it? Uh, it's candy cotton. They're gonna ban it, yeah, for some reason. Yeah, I read it the other day, there's something that's in it that decided it's not good for people. So I hope that's true what I've said. Yeah, <laughs> but this lake is used for swimming, which is great to see. Oh, I know this is so sweet. It's so so cute. <laughs> this is so pretty. Yeah. Uh, some of the delights <laughs> wandering along. This guy in front of us is just singing his heart out. He's got his earphones and speaker going, and uh, <laughs> just singing his heart out. Oh, he's waiting for the interlude. There he goes. <laughs> <laughs> Smiling away to everyone he sees. He's not off key. No, he's doing good. <laughs> it's just so lovely. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Dil lagi na, dil lagi na, ki diye saha. 
<laughs> so we're just sitting here all by the lake enjoying ourselves and this lovely older couple came mm, along yeah. and just asked where we're from and started talking and telling us about their family and their son that lives in Singapore and then he says well we come every evening and so we will see you again and uh, put his hand in his pocket Okay, he gave said, us a These speech. are for us. <laughs> so sweet. That's so nice. Oh my god. <laughs> we were just sitting here talking about how grateful we feel, how, yeah. how almost uh, tears in my eyes with the sense of mm. happiness of being here. And, and then Sita this, and Ram, his name's Ramesh, but yeah. he said Sita and Ram. Came along yeah. and just gave us this most, well, quite literally, the sweetest of blessings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Namaste, Dosto. Good morning, friends. Uh, we're only into our second full day here in Udapur. Yeah, but another gl glorious day. Ah, uh -huh. wonderful. And uh, already, already settling in. Every day we we're kind of well. Yesterday, by the afternoon, we were feeling even more settled with things. Um, yeah. But it's feeling magical. So, what are we up to today, darling? Well, we're off for breakfast, and not sure to be honest I know we want to go to the beautiful gardens nearby yeah and I'm not sure of the name of that just yet but it's apparently well known um, we'll do that and then I'm gonna try and find a yoga class but for now back on the trusty scooter yeah 100% organic raw cold fresh fresh juice healthy snacks and in classic Indian tradition we find <laughs> they're not open yet another 20 minutes apparently they're just opening the doors now even though it did say 10 o'clock ah lucky we don't have any pressures on us well they very kindly sped things up and opened up for us so i mean it is 10 36 in the morning <laughs> so, you know, it's more brunch it's more brunch <laughs> but uh yeah Excellent menu, so looking forward to what we get to have here. Breakfast take two. <laughs> we got a coffee. The power stopped on the building, so we'll go visit them another day. It was going to be another 30 minutes just to get boiled eggs. Well, they had no control over when the power was coming back on. Uh, but we actually came here last night, so we thought we'd pop back again because the courtyard is absolutely divine. We like it here. Fountain in the middle. It's just very beautiful. And it's a cool wee place. They they actually have um, some of the staff are deaf, and so they really seem to have quite a ethos of caring for people. And uh, it's nice here under the trees with this dappled light. Let's see how breakfast take two goes. Ooh, a little bit left. Thank you. <laughs> My chai wala for today. Yeah, it's a cool though. The Maiden Gardens. So, uh, reasonably popular gardens here in Udapur. And uh, meant to be very beautiful, so let's go find out. And happy International Women's Day today. It's a very as special well day. As, as well as Shivratri, Om Namah Shivaya.
my wife with a camera in her face. <laughs> <laughs> We're just sitting at one of our little local cafeteria patisseries um, on a Saturday morning. It's a beautiful morning. Uh, I've been to a yoga class by Lake Picholi. Pichola. Pichola, thank you. Um, those who follow us on YouTube know how often I get my words wrong. Uh, with a really, really wonderful yoga teacher. I really enjoyed it. Um, but I have a question for you, my dear. Why Udapur? The first answer is our dear friend Manu. He's our business partner and he and his family live here. And we've been here three times now. It's a beautiful city. The lakes are gorgeous. Uh, the, the city palace, the, the, the white expanse. There's lots of gardens and greenery. It's very clean and friendly. It's not too big. And there's lots to do here, and it feels nice here. Mm. We've, we've found a lot of places in India that we really, really love. Mm. I could live in Rishikesh. Yes, yes. I really love Rishikesh. Yes, they might yet be our summer yeah. residents. And I could live in Goa, because Goa is so beautiful. Yeah, it is. But Urupur feels wonderful, and it's a lovely place to make our home. So there's one of the answers, why Urupur? Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, it's also because it's kind of uh, it's a central location it's great for when we run our tours uh, for our guests uh, it's sort of on that flight path between Delhi and Mumbai it's a fairly balanced climate mm. and our friends in Ahmedabad they said ah it's much better in Udaipur than Ahmedabad in the summer Although, so that's that's nice to hear yeah and we yet we yet to obviously have the monsoon and experience the summer heat um, yeah. it's on its way but we'll comment more clearly then perhaps. Yeah, we've been to India from September to March. We yep. just haven't done the other months yet, so we're looking forward to that. 